Kanur, also known by its anglicized name Kananur, is a city and a municipal corporation in Kanur district, state of Kerala, India. It is the administrative headquarters of the Kanur district and situated 518 km north of the state capital Tiruvananthapuram. During British rule in India, Kanur was known as Kananur, a name that is still in use by the Indian railways. Kanur is the largest city of North Malabar region. Kannur is one of the million-plus urban agglomerations in India with a population of 1,642,892 in 2011. Kannur is often known as the Crown of Kerala because of its natural treasures as edged by the Western Ghats in the east, Korikode and Wayanad districts in the south, Lakshadweep sea, sea in the west and Kasargod in the north. Kannur is popularly known as the City of Looms and Lores. Because of the loom industries functioning in the district and ritualistic folk arts called they am held in temples. Kannur has a rich culture, history and traditions that are often connected with many scholars and legends from this region and also known as the land of looms and laurel. Kannur is of great strategic military importance in India. Kannur Cantonment is one of the 62 military cantonments in the country and is the headquarters of the Defence Security Corps and Territorial Army's 122 Infantry Battalion part of the Madras Regiment. The Indian Naval Academy is 35 km north of Kannur city. It is Asia's largest and the world's third largest naval academy. An Indian Coast Guard Academy has received approval to be built at Kannur. This academy will be built on the banks of Valapatanam River at Iranave, east of Azikal. Etymology The name Kanur, may have been derived from Kanathar, an ancient village. There are many myths and legends associated with the name Kanur. It is believed to be a portmanteau derived from two Malayalam words, Kanan Krishna, a Hindu deity, and Uuru place, the land of Lord Krishna. During the British Raj, the city was known by its anglicised name Kananur, the Portuguese version of its ancient name, Kananur. History Kanur was an important trading centre in the 12th century, with active business connections with Persia and Arabia. It served as the British military headquarters on India's west coast until 1887. In conjunction with its sister city, Telicherry, it was the third largest city on the western coast of British India in the 18th century after Bombay and Karachi. The modern town is referred to as Kanur Town. Kanur, as a district and surrounding areas, were mostly ruled by the famous Kolathiri Rajas kings. When the state of Kerala was formed the district took the name Kanur since the administrative offices were established here. Before that, Kanur was under the Chirakal Taluk of Madras state under British rule. When the British dominated this part of the world, they preferred Madras and Cochin as their major stations and Kanur started to lose its old glory. The people of Kanur are still waiting for their old glory to get back and they feel they are being sidelined because the state administration is located exactly opposite side of the state. Part of the original city of Kanur was under Kerala's only Muslim royalty called the Arakal and this area is still known as city. St. Angelo Fort was built in 1505 by Dom Francisco de Almeida, the first Portuguese viceroy of India. The Dutch captured the fort from the Portuguese in 1663. They modernized the fort and built the bastions Hollandia, Zeelandia and Frieslandia that are the major features of the present structure. The original Portuguese fort was pulled down later. A painting of this fort and the fishing ferry behind it can be seen in the Rijksmuseum Amsterdam. The Dutch sold the fort to King Ali Raja of Arakal in 1772. During the 17th century, Kanur was the capital city of the only Muslim sultanate in Kerala, known as Arakal. Then the British conquered it in 1790 and used it as one of their major military stations on the Malabar coast. During the British Raj, Kanur was part of the Madras province in the North Malabar district. The guerrilla war by Pazasi Raja, the ruler of Khatiyam province, against the British had a huge impact in the history of Kanur. Changes in the socio-economic and political sectors in Kerala during the initial decades of 20th century created conditions congenial for the growth of the Communist Party. 
Extension of English education initiated by Christian missionaries in 1906 and later carried forward by government, rebellion for wearing a cloth to cover upper parts of body, installing an idol at Aruvapuram in 1888, Malayali Memorial in 1891, establishment of SNDP Yogam in 1903, activities, struggles etc. became factors helpful to accelerate changes in Kerala society during a short time. Movements for liberation from the colonial rule of British imperialism and struggles launched by these movements grew with them. Very soon, ideas about socialism and Soviet revolution reached Kerala. Such ideas got propagated in Kerala through the works of Swatashabhimani Ramakrishna Pillai, Sahodaran Ayappan, P. Kesavadev and others. By the beginning of the 1930s some other useful developments were taking place. Important among them was Navarthana agitation in Travancore. That was the demand of people suppressed so far as untouchables and weaker sections for participation in government. This brought to the forefront struggles like proportional representation in government and reservation of jobs. This imparted a new enthusiasm among oppressed masses. Administration District, Kanner Governing body, Kanner Corporation Talak, Tessel, Kanner Block, Kanner Assembly constituency, Kanner Parliament constituency, Kanner Police station, Kanner Post office, Kanner 670001 Telephone exchange, Kanner 0497 Railway station, Kanner Railway station Can. Airport, Kanner International Airport CNN. Topic: Politics. Kannur, particularly the rural areas, has been referred to as a stranglehold of the left parties, locally known as party gramam. Gramam means village and usually denote local allegiance to only one party. Kannur has a strong presence of trade unions as well as left-leaning organizations. However, other parties also have strong influence. Past political leaders from Kannur include two chief ministers K. Karanakaran and E. K. Nayanar, central ministers E. Ahmed, C. M. Ibrahim, Venugopal, etc. The benefits of development were very slow to reach the place. Three ministers out of 18 in the present government are from Kannur, including the chief minister. The chief minister, Pinarayi Vijayan from Pinarayi village, represents Dharmadam constituency in Kannur. Since the formation of the state, roughly half who occupied the chief minister's office had some sort of connection to the district. Demographics According to the 2011 census of India, Kannur city has a population of 56,823. Males constitute 46.2% of the population and females 53.8%. Kannur has an average literacy rate of 96.23%, higher than the national average of 74.04%. Male literacy is 98% and female literacy is 94%. In Kannur, 12% of the population is under 6 years of age. Hindus form the majority of the population with 32,026 members forming 56.3% of the population. There are 21,557 Muslims forming 37.9% of the population. Christians form 5% of the population with 2,892 members. The Anglo-Indian community in Kannur live mainly in the Kannur cantonment of Burnasheri and its surrounding areas of Thillery, No. 3 Bazaar and Camp Bazaar. Malayalam is the administrative and local language. Topic: Constituent villages. Kannur Taluk has 27 villages. Anyarakandi, Ajakod North, Ajakod South, and Chalura. Kembilode, Cherakunu, and Chirakal. Edakad, Alayavur, Iravari, Kadambar, Kalyasari, and Kolasheri. Kanharod, Kanadiparamba, Kanapuram, Makrari, Matul, Mavalai, and Mundari, Mujapalangad, Narath, Palakunu, and Papinisari, Puzathi, Valapatanam, and Valayanur. Tourism 
VPRA Kayol Floating Park – VPRA Park is a project from District Tourism Promotional Council DTPC. It is a park which is constructed on top of Vayalapra Kayol. Payambalam Beach is a canner beach with an unbroken coastline of a few kilometers. From the beach, one can see ships in transit along the Malabar coast, from beyond Kori Code moving towards Mangalore, Goa and Bombay Mumbai. It contains a garden and the massive landscaped sculpture of mother and child erected by noted sculptor Kanei Kunhiraman. But it now lies vandalized by miscreants. Mujapalangad Drive in Beach 4 km length is in the state of Kerala in southwestern India. It is parallel to National Highway 66 formerly National Highway 17 between Kannur and Thalassery. Mujapalangad Drive in Beach, which stretches across 4 km of sand, was chosen by the BBC as one of the top six drive in beaches in the world in June 2016. Arakal Museum, in Ayyakara, is a museum dedicated to the Arakal family, the only Muslim royal family in Kerala, South India. The museum is a section of the Arakalkatu Arakal Palace. The Durbar Hall section of the palace has been converted into a museum by the government of Kerala. It was opened in July 2005 after a massive renovation and is managed by the Arakal Family Trust. Baby Beach is so called because it is smaller than its larger neighbour, Payambalam Beach. St. Angelo Fort is adjacent to it. The Baby Beach is part of the Kanner Cantonment and access may be restricted at times. Mankanu Beach is at Ajakode, just a few kilometres from the town. Napilla Bay in Ayyakara, near St. Angelo Fort, is a major fishing harbour overlooking the Locative Sea. The Azikal Ferry operates near Ajakode, about 10 km from Kannur town, where the Vallapatanam River joins the Locative Sea. Passenger boats are available to Matul, Parasinikadavu and Vallapatanam from here. Parasinikadavu Snake Park A snake farm dedicated for the preservation and conservation of snakes is in Kannur. Aralam Wildlife Sanctuary has elephant, sloth bear, mouse deer etc. Sanctuary in Kanner District is a place to see diverse and rare animals. Chudid Beach is a beach which Kerala State Tourism Department has developed with Chudid Beach Park which have children park, rower boats, and buggy rides. Paythalmala this enchanting hill station, situated 4,500 feet. Above sea level near the Kerala, Karnataka border, is rich in flora and fauna. It is a 6 km trek to the top of the hills. Easy Himala Hill Easy Himala, the capital of the ancient Mushika kings, is considered to be an ancient historical site. It is a conspicuous, isolated cluster of hills, forming a promontory, 38 km north of Kannur. A flourishing sea port and centre of trade in ancient Kerala, it was one of the major battle fields of the Chola Shara War of the 11th century. It is believed that Lord Buddha had visited Easy Himala. An old mosque, believed to contain the mortal remains of Sheikh Abdul Latif, a Muslim reformist, is also located here. The hill is noted for rare medicinal herbs. Bordered by sea on three sides, Easy Himala is set to occupy a prominent place in the naval history of the country, consequent to the proposal for commissioning the Naval Academy here. Kanner Lighthouse The Kanner Lighthouse is located near the Payambalam Beach, a few kilometres from Kanner Town, in Kerala State, South India. It is adjacent to the Sea View Park and the government guest house. The lighthouse is still active and overlooks the Arabian Sea. Kananur is the old English name for the town named Kanur. The lighthouse at Kanur is still often referred to as the Kananur Lighthouse. Palakayam Thatu Mangrove Theme Park, Kanur Palakayam Thatu Pazasi Dam Madhyapara St. Angelo's Fort St. Angelo Fort was built in 1505 by the first Portuguese Viceroy of India, Dom Francisco de Almeida. In 1663, the Dutch captured it and then in 1772, they sold the fort to the Arakal King. In 1790, the British captured it, and it was under the British until 1947. Hindu temples Kannur is assumed to have got the name, the land of Krishna because of Kadali Shri Krishna temple. 
Shri Rajarajeshwara Temple, Thiruvangad underscore Shri underscore Ramaswami underscore Temple, Katior Temple, Parasini Kadavu Shri Muthapan Temple, Anapurnashwari Temple, Baralasari Shri Subramanya Swami Temple, Payanur Shri Subramanya Swami Temple, Trishambaram Temple and Madhyakavu Temple, are the famed temples of the region. The Sri Rajarajeshwara Temple is a very important temple in South India, considering the fact, that the Devaprasna ritual, to astrologically determine the problems of most of the important South Indian temples is conducted here. Other temples Katior Vidakeshwaram Temple Kalarivathukal Bhagavathi Temple Tiruvarkadu Bhagavathi Temple aka. Madayi Kavu Sri Sundaraswara Temple, Talap Topic. Education Indian Naval Academy is situated in Easy Himala, Kannur. Naval cadets are trained here in 2,500 acres vast campus. Indian Coast Guard Academy, the first Coast Guard Academy in India is under construction in Azikal. Kannur district has five Kendriya Vidyalaya at Kannur, Keltran Nagar, Payanur, Easy Himala, and Thalassery. Kannur University was established by Act 22 of 1996 of the Kerala Legislative Assembly. The university by the name, Malabar University, had come into existence earlier by the promulgation of an ordinance by the Governor of Kerala, on 9 November 1995. The university was inaugurated on 2 March 1996 by the Chief Minister of Kerala. The objective of the Kannur University Act 1996 was to establish in the state of Kerala a teaching, residential and affiliating university so as to provide for the development of higher education in Kasargod and Kannur revenue districts and the Mananthavadi Taluk of Wayanad district. Kannur University is a multi-campus university. Government Brennan College, the first college in Kannur provide education to more than 2,500 students. Government College of Engineering, Kannur was established in 1986 near Dharmasala, Kannur as a centre for imparting engineering education in northern Kerala. The college is among the top ten engineering colleges of the state, providing higher studies in the field of technical education. Pariyaram Medical College was established in 1999 near Talaparamba. The medical college is at a distance of 10 km from Talaparamba and 32 km north of Kannur. Kannur Medical College was established in 2006 at Anyarakandi with a 500-bed hospital. The 13th National Institute of Fashion Technology NIFT campus in Kannur is located at Anthor near Dharmasala, Kannur 12 km north of Kannur Corporation. Transportation <inaudible> 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 Kannur has a good road network connecting to Mangalore, Bangalore, Mysore, Kodagu and Cochin. The railway station is also well connected to all parts of India. The nearest airports are at Calicut and Mangalore while the new airport coming up in Kannur is expected to begin commercial operations in mid-2018. Kannur is on National Highway 66 or NH66 formerly National Highway 17 between Kori Kode and Mangalore. This highway is scheduled to be expanded to four lanes. A bypass for Kannur city is proposed under the NH widening project. Kannur is connected to Kodagu, Mysore and Bangalore in Karnataka by the Thalassery Korg Mysore Interstate Highway. Kannur Railway Station is one of the major stations of the Southern Railway Zone, under the jurisdiction of the Palakkad. All trains including the Tiruvananthapuram Rajdhani Express and Kochuveli Garab Rath stop at Kannur. Six daily trains and around 15 weekly or bi-weekly trains connect Kannur to the capital Tiruvananthapuram. Kannur is well connected through rail with Mangalore and Kori Code. Kannur International Airport in Matanur inaugurated on 9 December 2018. It is the fourth international airport in Kerala. The airport will have a 3,050 metres 10, feet runway, the longest in the state and state-of-the-art passenger terminal as well other amenities. It will be well connected by a comprehensive network of roads and a proposal for railway line has also been mooted. In the 2016-17 Union Railway budget, 400 crore rupees $56 million were dedicated for under extra budgetary resource EBR in which a part of the bill will be borne by the state government towards the railway line.
Topic: Media. Many local cable television channels are available in Kanner. The most popular cable channels are City Channel, City Gold, City Juke, Network Channels, Zeal Network, Kanner Vision, World Vision, World Vision Music, Chakarakal, and Gramika Channel Kuthaparamba. All India Radio is broadcast in Kanner at 101.5 MHz. Private FM radio stations in Kanner include Radio Mango 91.9 Malayala Manorama Co Limited. Club FM 94.3 Mathrabumi Printing and Publishing Co Limited Red FM 93.5 Sun Network Best FM 95.0 Asianet Communications Limited A number of newspapers are published from Kannur including the Malayala Manorama Mathrabumi Madhyamam Dashabimani Deepika Rashtra Deepika Chandrika Kerala Kamudi Mangalam Janmapum Vikshanam Thihas, Siraj Suprabatham Janayugam and the New Indian Express Topic Notable People Literature, Sukumar Ajakode, Cherisari Nambuthiri, T. Pamanabhan, T. K. D. Mujapalangad, Sports, Jimmy George, V. P. Sathian, C. K. Vanith, Tintu Luka, Political Leaders, M. V. Raghavan, Pinarayi Vijayan, K. Karanakaran, E. K. Nayanar, E. Ahmed, Kodayari Balakrishnan, E. P. Jayarajan, Kadanapali Ramachandran, K. Sudhakaran, Actors, Srinivasan, M. N. Nambir, Malavika Mohanan, Samvaratha Sunil, Gitu Mohandas, Jishnu Raghavan, Vanith, Vanith Kumar, Sanusha, Sanup Santhosh, Nikila Vimal, Nevatha Thomas, Srikala Sasidharan, Anju Arvind, Athmaya, Sruti Lakshmi, Filmmakers, Bajoy Nambir, Salim Ahmed, Vanith Srinivasan, Music composers, Kaithapram Damodaran, Kanar Rajan, Deepak Dev, San Rahman, Sushan Shyam, Cinematographer, K. U. Mohanan Dancer, Shamna Kazam Geography and climate Kanner has an elevation of 1.02 metres along the coast of the Locative Sea, with a sandy coastal area. The town has an 8 km long seashore and a 3 km long beach at Payambalam. Kanner experiences a rare humid tropical monsoon climate under the Köppen climate classification AM. In April and May, the average daily maximum temperature is about 35 degrees Celsius 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures are low in December and January, about 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Like other areas on the Malabar coast, this town receives heavy rainfall during the southwest monsoon. The annual average rainfall is 3,438 mm, around 68% of which is received in July. <laughs> <laughs> Location Kannur is located towards north of Kori Kode Calicut, India, south of Mangalore and towards the west of Western Ghats Korg and Mananthavadi Taluk of Wayanad. See also Canner North Canner South Canner East Places of worship in Canner District Malabar Region Mangalore